Hello and welcome to Spa for the 1988 Belgium Grand Prix. Before we start this race, unfortunately, we had the news from Indonesia yesterday that Haruki Noguchi unfortunately passed away after a crash on Sunday during the Asia Road Racing Championship at Mandalika. So before this race, we'll be, we will be holding a minute silence in his honour. Just 10 days after he got second place in the Suzuka 8 hours, Haruki, you will be missed. And if you get ready for the race to begin now. And the five lights will light up. The Cesar of his best start of the season, Patrese on pole. N uh, Menini behind him, and his lights out, and away we go here in um, Spa. And this Cesaris has already been overtaken by one of the Ferraris, is he? And is he going to go down inside? Yes, he is. Down inside, he pushes Nanini, Nanini wide. It's betrayed. He can have a look in the inside. No, he's not. And it's going to be to Cesaris who leads into turn one. That's a brilliant start from the Italian. But it's betrayed. He's going to try and make a move into the Rouge. No, he's not. And look at the gap now. Cesaris has got, he's got a massive gap. Look at the speed he had through Rouge there. And let's see a little bit further back behind them. Alvaretto... Patrese, Gugelman, into Lacom, who's going to be in P2? It looks like it's going to be Alvaretto, but it's three cars for the final podium position at the moment. And Gugelman goes down the inside on Patrese, brilliant move for that. And the pole hitter, just like last week for any I know he's gone from first all the way down to fourth, and potentially even fifth if Nanini can get past. And that's, um, who's that in the tail? It's Julian Bailey just behind them. PK could be looking at they can look, having a look through some of them. Unfortunately, the camera angles do seem very far away, but um, that's just an issue for another day. And Capelli now in the other march, his teammates um, up there. He's going to be side by side with Julian Bailey into Puon, and Bailey has to back off as um, Capelli stays in front. And it's all safe. I think the safety car's out. We've got a safety car in Spa. I'm not sure why. Have we got a safety car? I think I saw a yellow flag out. Um, oh, we're still racing, obviously, because the safety car rules don't go into um, place until they cross the line. But I can't actually see any other safety car boards, so maybe we are racing. Anyway, as they fire now down towards Blanchemont, the side by side that's Boots and versus, I think, Louis Perez Sala. Um, yeah, that's Peristala in the Minardi that Bootson is trying to get past. Yeah, safety car's out. We haven't got a safety car. Down inside goes Bootson through the bus stop chicane. Is he going to make the move done? Mm, cliffhanger. We're going to see. Yeah, Bootson is now in front of um, Peristala as we reach the um, start finish line. Let's see what happened to cause the safety car. Bunch Schneider. Bunch Schneider's not got a rear wing. Eddie Chiba hasn't got a front wing, so maybe it's something between these two. But no, because they've already got damage. So, what has happened? Is it the source, maybe? Is the safety car been out this entire time? Maybe. Oh, there's oh, there's been a massive pile up at the source. This is, oh, goodness me. A lot of cars off there. Three cars here, you know, that, yeah, that's what's called the safety car, I believe. No, because he's only waving the yellow. So why have we got a safety car then? 
because there are only wave yellows. That's not. Um, safe car or has it? Maybe. No, still just wave yellows. No safety car boards. Has there been another off, maybe? Because that's only a wave one as well. Sure, I've got a safety car first. They're gonna stay out because they don't normally pit this lap. They're still just wave yellow, so no safety car board. That probably is why we're on the safety car to be fair. Let's watch the sheds with yeah there is a safety car out. So we are on the safety car here at the um spa. Not quite live, so let's speed it up a little bit just so we can get live. Here we go. No, it's still not even live. <laughs> anyway, because it's such a long circuit, I reckon we go to add. Um, and it will be for a while, because it's probably like two or three laps will be under safety car. But if anything happens weird, which normally it can happen in the safety car, I will come back to you. So yeah, we'll see you in a bit.
Okay, we're still on the safety car here in Spa. But we have had some issues for some cars. Um, Oscar LaRowry, or one car, Oscar LaRowry. So we're going to see what happened to him on the safety car. He hasn't got a front wing. So why hasn't he got a front wing? Let's have a look. So we're going to see what happened. He got a front wing here. Uh, no, maybe there's been something. Is he really hasn't got a front wing there? Ah, he, oh, he must have been involved in that, that one crash. Actually, it's, yeah, that's obvious. Anyway, ooh, he's already out there. Let's just see what happened. Comes into the pits. Let's see. Oh, and they just drive into the wall. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna ask. I'm just gonna come and take mine. Okay. Has he got an issue? I think he's yeah. He looks like his engine's cut out maybe. Oh, is he going? Okay. And is he just gonna come into the pits? I'm assuming where's he going? <laughs> I don't know where he's going. Speeding up. Oh goodness me! What on earth? He's been hit by a march. Which march is that? Goodness, a heavy hit into the wall. I'm assuming that has ended his race. Ferrari as well. Which march is that? For the championship's sake, I hope it isn't Gugelman. No, it is. It's Capelli. And that looks like Oscar LaRowry out of the race. Yes, it is. Can you just get back live now? Or it's about four minutes behind. Safety car. Are there more people out? Yes, there are more people out now. Something else has happened. Aliot's out. Cheever's out. Jindani's out. Nakajima's out. Madonna's out. Martini's out. Tarkini is out. Ivan Capelli's out. Patrese, no, Patrese is just in the pit. Mansell out. No, Max is in the pit as well. Caffey's out. Bailey's still going. <laughs> so, has something else happened now? Let's go with Madonna, see what happened. And, oh, there's just a pile up. I'm gonna speed it up. Oh, it's a march in the way of Capelli. And we saw similar things here yeah, at that end of their race. We saw similar things in Silverstone. With, um, people having weird pit stop issues. Anyway, are we still in the safety car? Yeah, we are. So, let's just go through people who are out. Is it? Is that it? Yeah, it is. So we've got Cape Caffi, Capelli, Tarkini, Martini, Medena, Nakajima, Ginzani, Chiva and Ali are all involved. And um, have their race ended because of that off. And of course, we've already got Oscar Larari off from the lap before. Let's go back to ads now. So I'm assuming the safety guy will be in this lap. So we'll see you at the end of this lap.
safety car comes in at the end of this lap and Jason Trezorus who leads trying to get his first win of his career and of the season to lock himself into the playoffs down inside goes Alboreto Trezorus goes very wide there through the source now Alboreto's going to have an easy pass into the lead look at the gap he's got now Capelli's uh, Gelman sorry passed um, that's PK passed already and is that all oh, down inside what a move that is from De Cesaris. down inside through Radion and now he's got a brilliant run on Gagelman as well he's going to try and make a move down the inside through the com he moves to the right then not quite side by side yet can he make the lunge into the chicane yes he can brilliant move that from um, De Cesaris. who loses a couple of positions after going wide on the restart he's easily able to get all those positions back and is now he's going to make a move through Bruos, wherever you pronounce that corner. Yes, he is. And Jason Chazuras back into the lead of the race. And that's Gugelman trying to get past um, Alberato as well. He can't quite do it. And through no name, Alberato is going to stay in front. Or is he? They're side by side now. Oh no, it's side by side between PK and um, Gugelman. Are they? PK going to get down the inside? Yes, he is. PK up into third. Gugelman's off the track. Gugelman's off the track. And that could that get Nini. Pass. No, it's not, but now it's Paris Sala is going to try and get past um, the Nini. As Renny Arnoux is that as well there. Let's have a little look over back here. It's Renny Arnoux, Senna down there as well. Anyone else off that we should know of? Um, Bunt Schneider. Nigel Max. What's happened? Ah. Uh, so there's Mance who had an off maybe, and then, let's see. What's going on here? Still going. I'm going to with Bunch Schneider actually. Well, Bunch Schneider's in front of him actually. Ah, oh, if Bunch Schneider just pushed Mansell into the pits. Anyway, let's go back live now. That's enough of seeing these two have their issues. I'm a little bit too far in front. Go all oh, Bunch Schneider's got a big fire in the back of his car there. Hope he's able to get out of his car all okay. The Nini in the pits as well, so he's had an issue. That's Schneider out of the race. Is Mansell out of the race? Uh, no, he's not, but he's still at the end of the pit lane. And back on the safety car? No, we're not. We're not back on the safety car. Why does it seem so slow? Not quite live actually, let's go back live coverage. There we go, back live now. It seems a bit slow for some reason. Something's happened, not too sure what's going on unfortunately. issue with our coverage with yeah this is not the speed the cars are going unfortunately I think we've got some sort of issue with the telecast unfortunately <sighs> this is annoying isn't it we're not currently live and um, yeah for some reason the um, coverage is going slower than it's meant to be. This I can only apologise for. I don't run anything here. And, I mean, we could go run at this speed, but it's not really realistic, is it? Now Alberto on the safety cards. Oh, Gagelman's been hit. Gagelman's been oh into the rear. Gagelman's lost his rear wing and his front wing. Alberto's lost his rear wing. Oh, 
happened there? Oh, Gagelman is played into the back of Alboreto and then boots and goes into the back of um, Gagelman. Is PK here as well? No, I don't think he is. Why are we in the safety car in the first place? Manson's out, Petrazi out, Petrazi's out, Nanini's out, no Nanini's not out, Petrazi's out. What happened to Petrazi? Oh, he's got pulled off to the side of the track with an engine issue. Just behind Ferger. And yeah, the engine just goes and that's him out of the race, unfortunately. But that can't be why we're on a safety car. The more people with issues potentially. Nanini's still in the pits. It's a lengthy repair for him, it looks like he's back out now. But I'm not too sure why we're on the safety car to be honest, but we are, so. now hopefully the issues of our telecast have been fixed that live now and we're gonna go to an ad break while we see the cars go round on the safety car we'll see you when the safety car is hopefully back in
cars come in, but for some reason we're still under safety car conditions. And for some some reason, we were two minutes behind just from how bad this broadcast is. Um, yeah, what we're going to do is fast forward until the end of this lap, and I'm assuming I'll go back racing. To make it quicker, let's just do this. The safety car is already in. Actually, it's a chance he's going to be able to go this lap. And I think he's gone, and green flags are out, and the Jesuit is underway. Back racing at Spa. And down inside straightaway is goes, um, is that that's Frost on Gagel? My goodness me, it's shocking. I do apologize, we had had some very dodgy weather in the um, Spa area recently in the um, last couple of days now has massively affected our um cameras down inside tries frost on um to Cheseris, but unable to make the move This doesn't look as good, does it, when they're not going as quick as they're meant to be, but... I mean, I'm surprised it worked at the start of the race, to be fair. It's, oh, they've got some more retirees. Warwick, Strafe, Dalmas... Dalmas out? No, he's not. What happened to Strafe and Warwick, then let's have a look. Oh, more off at the end. And entering. And that could actually be why um, we had to be on the safety car for another lap. They played straight from course for that, I believe. Well, it's not just him, but kind of is him. Of course, they can't overtake because then they'll be breaking safety car rules. But anyway. Um, yeah, back live in that moment. Still. Yeah, here we go, it's cross pit. Why does cross pit? We're down to seventh, he had an off or something. He is second. And, oh, he gets past those. The Chesaris has an issue. The Chesaris have an issue. And Jay the Chesaris has some sort of issue. He's slowing, and the Chesaris could be out of this race. From the race lead, what a shame for the Italian. Bailey's passed, just go on board, this what did the engine sound like? I got it back going, I, th I think. Potentially it's a factory reset maybe. For the engine, you don't normally see that happen. He's currently in P6. Frost now leads from Johansson, Bailey, Nanini, Boots and then to Cesarus. Your current top six, to Cesarus. How long is left in this race for 10 laps into 6 laps or 10 minutes, whichever one we get to first? Um, yeah, that is such a change to the Chesaris. He looked like he could win his first race of his career, but unfortunately not. And Johansson um, in second place currently. He's already locked the playoffs after his win in Montreal at the Canadian Grand Prix. Very solid drive that was for the Swede. This doesn't look as good, does it? You know. They should be going normal speed. But, um, I can see out of my commentary box that they are. But, yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's an idiot going to be able to get past Prost. You look like he might have a run. Of course, we can't actually see the rock proper speed, so we'll never know that. But...
They go towards Launchamon. They go through the bus stop chicane now. Frost comes into the pits. Oh, Johansson, they both come into the pits the same lap. And oh, Johansson's hit the wall. Let's get a replay. Oh. They both come into the pits. Frost hunters indecisive and turns into him. I don't think Johansson actually wanted to pit, you know. Oh, that's Johansson out. Johansson's out. Yeah, Johansson tries to get around the outside. He didn't want to pit. Johansson didn't want to pit. Now it's Stefan Johansson out of the Belgian Grand Prix. Oh, such a shame for the Swede. Now it's his race over, unfortunately. Frost as well. Oh, Lorini's off as well in the pit lane. That could be his race over. Gagelman still hasn't come into the pit. There's Julian Bailey now who leads after those two went off in front of him. Chesra's up to fourth. Bootson, here he is, just behind his teammate Nini. Chester is back there. Are we going to see maybe the two Benettons fighting? Or is Chester going to make some sort of lunge? Not looking like he will be at the moment. go through the hairpin now. Look how close they are. Look how slow they are unfortunately. Hopefully we will be fine for Monza tomorrow. Towards two on, maybe a move. No, not quite. The two Benettons still side by side. In a minute, I might try and fast forward the um, coverage so we can try and get back live, but. I will keep watching these, so if anything does happen, we will be able to see. Ugh, this is just so dull. I'm not really being... I will be I would be enjoying it, of course, if they were going full speed, but... For some reason, if I speed it up, it's too fast. If it's normal, then it's too slow, unfortunately, so... Um, maybe the chest is going to make a move on Boots and Boots and not as close to his teammate as he was early on in the lap. And is the chest is going to make a move into the um, bluff stop chicane. Maybe even now too far back with Bronchamon. So he's right behind him. We could see a move potentially into bus stop. Maybe Nanini as well on Bailey. No, but that's down inside. Goes uh, the Chesarius on um, Boots and and into the bus up to Kane. Chesterus is back in P3. But is Bootson maybe going to try and make a move into the second part? No, he's not. I'm assuming, by the way, that um, Lorini is out of the race. Yeah, he is. Gagelman is still going. Cross just behind him. Dalmas is there. Palmer, where's he? He's just behind this little four car train. Thurka currently eighth. Not in point at the moment. Anyway, let's see, we've got Nanini versus Bailey versus Chesaris for the lead. Maybe with Boots and actually trying to make a move on um, to Chesaris. 
Let's see, down inside, into a Rouge, is he going to make it work? He's in front at the moment, Satner as well, trying to get in front, no, he's not, just Ezra is able to clear him. And now he's got Ronald and Nanini actually, his Cesarus. Are you going to pull out to the right, yes, uh, left, or yes he is, and he gets past the Ches um, Nanini. He goes straight in front of him, that's to kind of cut him off, but he's almost off the track there. And is he going to be able to go down inside on Julian Bailey into Lacom? Let's see. We're going to be free wide, maybe Nanini kicks up some grass, and that is the Cesarus into the lead of this race. Good move that from the young Italian. Take the lead of four laps or six minutes left in this race. Let's fast forward a little bit. That's normal speed. Let me fast forward. For some reason, normal speed here is just not working out. Anyway, let's go back to live coverage now. Let's see. Are we going to see any movement? Because this doesn't look good either, though, because this looks too quick and this looks too slow. You can't get at normal speed, unfortunately, which I'm not too sure about. But we are live now. Actually, no, we're nowhere near live. Like half 30 seconds off, but I'd rather watch it behind to be honest in live. I don't know about you. I mean, I can see the cars um, at the moment g going past my commentary box. is Alan Prost, who's near the back, and nowhere near these lots. So, yeah, anyway, is Nanini going to try and make a move on um, Bailey? It looks like unboots and sorry, is he? Let's see. Into the bus stop chicane, maybe. Awesome dirt kicked up that from um, the Chesaris. Maybe the Chesaris gone straight on. The Chesaris gone straight on. What's happened to the Chesaris? Chesaris is gone straight on, and he's slowing down. He's got an issue, maybe another issue. No, I think he's just letting them by. Yeah, he's just letting them by. He's letting the Nini buy, and he's gonna have to let a uh, boots and buy. Sorry, and is he gonna let? He's let Bailey buy as well. He did two positions, and oh, he's trying to let I think Senna and the Nini pass as well. Is he maybe, or is he? Is that not his intention? Let's see. Does he slow down even more? No, he doesn't. It does he? Yes, I think he does. I think he's letting them all buy. Yeah, the Chester has pulled out to the left that everyone by. I believe he's been told to do that by the FIA and he's back down to six. Now let's get a replay to see what happened there. Not long left in this race at all. We'll go on board with the Chesaris. Oh, goes a bit wide and oh spins on the drain. Brilliant save that from the Chesaris. He's caught it and then just goes straight on. Maybe dirt on the tyres, that's the only possible thing I can think of. Just dirt on the tyre to the Chesaris. Anyway, back live now, he's got up to fourth. He got past um, Arnu and Nanini. Nanini gonna try to make a move there. No, he's not quite gonna be able to. More debris in the pit. South of Gelman doing his he's still in the race areas, but for some reason he's not pissing. Anyway, the Chesterus. Now he's got three cars in front of him. He's got Senna, he's got Bailey, and he has um, Bootson. Bootson trying to win for the second time in a row. Don't think anyone has done that this season. So. Not good. I think currently Bootson will be leading the championship if it stays like this. It's a Chesaris now as he goes up the hill. I think he's the only one who's able to take that corner flat out, so it must be something to do with the Real team. Of course, one man team, so only one driver that they need to get the car good for. It looks like they've got the car perfect for the Chesaris. 
for to go flat out through a rouge. And he's already in no he's nowhere near saying what am I about? We go through the com. He's just behind the uh, McLaren. And you know, let's get some more speed into it. Is he gonna go down the inside through the hairpin? It's a lunge. And the lunge is gonna work, I think. They're side by side. And De Cherturus is in front. And now chasing down Julian Bailey. Can he get past Bailey? Let's see. Not one left in this race either. The race is almost live now, so let's see what we get. Is he going to make a move through the bus stop chicane? Let's see. He dives down the inside, is it going to work? He's got the moves on, he gets on the curb. Oh, he's cut the corner. He's probably have to give that back, I reckon. It's to Cheserus. And let's see, Willie. I think it's the right thing to do is to let him buy. So he doesn't get a penalty for um, gaining a, leaving the track and gaining an advantage. And yeah, he does that. Julian Bailey buy back up into second place. But he's straight away going to dive down inside into the source. And does the move work? No, he goes very wide. And Bailey, I think he's going to be able to get back past him, or is he? With 45 minutes is gone now, so this will be the final lap of this race. It looks like Bootson will have it. And Ooh. Yeah, Teller now in front of um, Bailey down the inside through a rouge. And a bit far behind at the moment, so let's see. Is the Cheserus chases down. Cherry Boots and still unfortunately not able to give you the best coverage we can. But now to Cheserus, it's got even slower. What on earth is going on? But you know, let's just fast forward it for the rest of the race because I can't watch it that slow. It's Cheserus chases down um, Bootson. Look how close he is. Can he make a run on him? Let's watch it with normal speed from now. Look how close. Did he get to make a move through Bo um, Bonchamon? He's got t the bus stop chicane, his only other breaking zone. Bootson's done brilliantly to lead this race for so long. But is he going to win this race? He won in Hungary. They almost touched going through Blanchemont. That's so much quicker. De Cesaris is. He's going to try and make a move down inside. He pulls out to the left. He's got. He's a decent way back. He's going to dive down inside. Is he? Yes, he is. Has he got the move done? He has. And Andre De Cesaris has never won a race before. And he's going to do it in the perfect time to do it. He locks himself into playoffs in the process. Bootsin can't make a move into the final chicane. And Andre De Cesaris is going to cross the line. Surely now. Yes, he has. He's going to win the Belgian Grand Prix. Gagelman comes into the pits. What a what a what a, what a race from the Cheserer to lock himself into playoffs and win the race. As he goes straight on, is he going to try and do some donuts in the runoff at the source? Not quite able to, unfortunately. As oh, don't hit the other cars. Oh, close. What a race that was from Andre to Cheserus to win the Belgian Grand Prix for his first win in his career. First win for Real, that locks Real into the playoffs as well. As long as, um, well, yeah, one man team Real now locked into the playoffs. He slows down next to the grandstand to wave for the fans. It's a brilliant race, he's got getting overtaken now. Oh, he's gone off. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. He's hit the wall there. He might have hit the wall there. Let's go on board. Yeah, he did tap the wall there. He's 
I think getting a bit too excited with the celebrating and has gone off the track. Oh, he's getting to the curb. Oh, Max tire will thankfully not too heavy of a hit. We'll able to continue. Anyway, let's go through the results from that very strange broadcast wise Belgian Grand Prix. Um, Lorauri, Aliot, Chiva, Ginzani, Nakajima, Modena, Martini, Tarkini, Capelli, Caffey, Mansell, Schneider, Patrese, Derek Warwick, yet yeah, Strafe, Johansson, Lorini, um, all out, all DNFing. Gagelman, um, is in the pits, but he had damage, he's quite far back. Berger, Palmer, Prost. Dalmas, Albrecht, right. PK and Perisala, your point scorer is Nanini, Bailey for the second time this season, Rene Arnoux, um, Senna, Thierry Bootson and locking him and his team into the playoffs, and Brady Cesaris for Real. Make sure you're here tomorrow for the Italian Grand Prix, hopefully a uh, better broadcast and we'll see you then, goodbye.